the news today. Story one, these are not the good old days. We're surrounded by booze, corruption, and violence. Mayhem rule. Story two, in Chicago, poet Carl Sandburg's city of big shoulders, the only leadership that can be seen is the leadership of the notorious Alphonse Capone. To some a savior, to others a devil. Story three, in Washington, our nation's capital, President Herbert Hoover today selected Elmer L. Irie to head up and staff a blue ribbon investigative team to get the goods on Mr. Crime himself, Alphonse Capone. Frank, I'm sending you to Chicago to get Capone and his mob, all of them. Guzik, Kuzik, Nitto, and Druggin. But most of all, I want Capone. And get Capone they did when Elmer Irie and the original Revenue Bureau Intelligence Unit was set up over 80 years ago, their mandate was simple. Investigate tax cheating and, when the evidence warranted it, recommend the case for prosecution. Hello, I'm John Goodwin. That old intelligence unit of Elmer Irie's has evolved over the years. In fact, it's evolved into the premier financial crime-fighting force in the world. It's had to, just to keep up with the bad guys. The CIA's mission is to investigate tax crimes and to investigate all other financial related crimes, no matter what that may be and no matter where that may take us. No one else does what we do. We are the only federal agency that investigates federal tax violations. We are recognized and CIA is recognized as the best financial investigators in the world. We are very good at what we do. IRS criminal investigation works cases in three broad categories. Those involving legal income, where the tax violation is the sole criminal activity. Illegal income, where tax as well as money laundering are the crimes. And third, narcotics-related financial crimes. Oftentimes, in cases that other law enforcement agencies work, the crime has already been committed and it's easy to define. They know that a murder has taken place or a rape has taken place. Whereas at criminal investigation, sometimes we are not absolutely sure what the crime is. There's an allegation or a complaint, but it's up to us to determine what the crime is and identify, in fact, whether there is criminal intent to commit the crime. It's not enough just to have unreported income. An important element of the crime for us to prove is that the unreported income was intentionally not reported, and that there was fraud or criminal intent involved. Sometimes we'll see a situation where there is an omission of income but the omission doesn't rise to a criminal case because there's not criminal intent involved. And if that situation arises, then we might refer the case to another division within the IRS. Financial related crimes come in all shapes and sizes. Telemarketing schemes, healthcare schemes, insurance schemes, identity theft. There's a lot more, but they all have one thing in common. All of these schemes are set up to defraud consumers and the government. In regards to the tax seminar schemes, where the, what these individuals are doing is claiming that taxes are unconstitutional and uh, discouraging the public from filing tax returns. A lot of them have their own individual websites. They advertise in newspapers. Uh, they buy commercial time on television and radio. They set up seminars in hotels and advertise them locally for individuals to come and listen to their speeches about how to not pay their income taxes. The people that put on the seminars historically pay their taxes or don't have any income to speak of. However, they state it in such a manner that it doesn't appear as if that they are doing that themselves, so that they try to dupe the other individuals into investing with them. The Individuals in the audience, the attendees uh, who fall for the rhetoric uh, taught at the seminars and actually leave the seminar uh, feeling uh, that uh, there is no penalty for the non-payment of taxes and also set up um, false accounts like uh, trust accounts, et cetera, have opened themselves up to uh, a criminal investigation and ultimately uh, could spend some time in jail for the non-payment of taxes. It is absolutely a colossal scam, and it's a shame that there are people out there that fall prey to that. If it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. 
It's like you guessed, Frank. Nothing seems to move on the south side without Capone's okay. It's got gambling, prostitution, bootlegging, nightclubs, speakeasies, laundry services, restaurants. So what's supplies? the difficulty, boys? Proving it. IRS criminal investigation often belongs to HIDA task forces. HIDA being High Intensity Drug Trafficking Area Task Forces. Right now, we work with different agencies such as DEA, Customs, FBI, and the local PD, and we work uh, drug cases following all the narcotics cases. Our mission is to dismantle sophisticated narcotics criminal organizations. A lot of the drug traffickers tend to spend a lot of money, have a lot of money, and that is their known source, is from the actual drug sales. Our main goal in these types of investigations is to bring tax evasion and or money laundering charges against these criminal enterprises for their participation in sophisticated narco narcotics trafficking. We receive our investigations or potential investigations from a, a variety of sources. Um, a lot of times if one of our civil investigators comes across something that they may feel uh, constitutes fraud, they can send us what we call a criminal referral. That's one of our sources. Another way is from the United States Attorney's Office. They may have an investigation that they are, they've come across or another federal agency or local agency may be investigating and they feel that IRS would add their expertise as far as the financial investigation of that case and they may ask us to join that investigation. We also receive in, uh, information from the public, um, other state and local agencies. So we receive our cases from, from a variety of, of areas. Cheat the government, go to jail. The cases we're working today are far more complex and far more dangerous than the cases we were working five years, 10 years, certainly 20 years ago. Of course, good old fashioned tax evasion, Title 26 of the US Code, is the foundation for everything we do. We are mandated to investigate crimes dealing with all kinds of financial fraud. We figure out and track down all kinds of financial schemes. We unravel external and sometimes internal conspiracies to defraud banks and savings and loans and consumers. We investigate allegations of fraud in government subsidy programs, Medicare, Medicaid, food stamps, pensions. Again, any financial scheme set up to defraud the government. The American tax system is so much different from any other tax system because it is a voluntary system. That system basically says that every year, if you've had earned income during that year, you are required to sit down and prepare a tax return that accurately reports the earned income that you've had during that year and to pay the taxes that are due and owing on that income. So when people say the system is voluntary, it's voluntary to the point where you have a requirement to file and you are to prepare the tax return or have a legitimate return preparer prepare that return and file it 